Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and today we're going to talk about the CARES Act and what it means for you. Alright Butterflies, what we're going to talk about today is the CARES Act and the CARES Act is... Um, where on March 27th, they signed that all student loan interest and payments were going to be forgiven up until September 30th, 2020. So it's nothing that you have to do. If you have a student loan or parent loan that is secured by the federal government, then they will not add interest and you do not have to make payments. Uh, it'll go into automatic forbearance for from now up until um, September the 30th. So that includes parents too. I did a small one for Bree, and so that will include that loan also. Private sector, it will not count, um, not with this particular act. You may wanna contact them directly and see if there's something that they can um, help you with somehow but just keep in mind um that this is unprecedented um even in bankruptcy you cannot get rid of your student loans you literally have to die and they're probably going to go after your um estate to get their money so um take this breather and then you know move it forward um, student loans are necessary, but they're evil. <laughs> they're evil. You know, we want the education. We want to be in some of us just don't have the means to be able to, you know, to go without, um, that's the dog. <laughs> some of us don't have the means to be able to go to school without having, you know, some type of financial aid, which is grants or scholarships and student loans. So um, I was one of those people. I think I'm right at 130,000 right now. Mine are in forbearance. They have been in forbearance and I, you know, I have not been making the minimum payment. I was trying to get the rest of this done and I qualified for the payment, whatever. So I took it and then as soon as I finished with my card, then I'll go ahead and get them. Not everybody will agree with me, but um, you know, I've still got kids under my roof, so I had to kind of do what was best for me. So with that said, I wanted to come on and just let you guys know that there is some type of relief for you to be able to um, take a breather from your student loans if you need it. Now, the good thing about it is if you want to continue to pay on your student loans, that's going to go directly to principal because there is no interest. It does not penalize you if you continue to pay on it. So that's one of the good things. Um, now, let's touch on just for a second the, um, the forgiving part. Um, it's still the 10 years, guys. And you know, in the um, Dave Ramsey world, you know, we're gazelle intent. So our intentions are never to have this debt out here for 10 years so and the other thing um they haven't made clear but i work for a nonprofit, so even if i made 10 years of well even if i made five years it's a 10 year commitment but five years never missed a payment anything like that guess what i have one hiccup maybe payment didn't get there in time maybe I lost a job or whatever, but then the following month, I jumped right back on it. Guess what? That 10 years starts all over. So I think for me, I'm just going to take it the way that I took the rest of them um, with um, gazelle intent and with a um, mind frame of doing smallest to largest, knock them out as I go. Um, so... That's just an update on the student loans. You guys can do whatever you feel is best for your family, but I did want to share that with you. 
and um, tell me in the comments what you guys are planning on doing. Are you going to take an extension if you have um, student loans? Are you going to take this? I think it's six months. Are you going to take the six months? Are you going to continue to pay and just have it go to the interest? So let me know in the comments below. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I don't know why you haven't. But um, we would love to have you a part of the Butterfly family. If um, you so choose, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, love you, Butterflies.